Right now, there are more people on the internet than there were on the planet in 1960. We're raising money. And it's easier to be discovered than ever before. It takes a full team to make each one of our videos. But the internet needs better software to help us reward one another for our work. Advertisers value you differently. They say that 1,000 of you is only worth $6. Any help is very much appreciated. Please fund this project. We need your help. Bueno, hoy me vino una idea. Today I got an idea. What you can do to lo que tú también tú puedes hacer. Bueno, que en realidad todo el mundo puede hacer si quiere. Uh, actually, what everybody can do if you want. En este momento el precio de Bitcoin es muy económico. Uh, at the moment, the price of Bitcoin is very cheap. Pero casi todo el mundo tiene muy poco dinero para invertir. But almost everybody has uh, very little money to invest. Debería decir que esta idea me vino hoy especialmente cuando vi otra vez una chica ahí pidiendo dinero por la calle. Actually, I must say first this idea today I got, especially when I saw again um, one girl begging for money in the streets. Me gustaría ayudar, pero yo tampoco me sobra mucho el dinero. I would really like to help everybody, but I, I don't have either too much money. And así que me vino la siguiente idea. So I got the following idea. It's, uh, it's más bien un juego. Uh, it's uh, rather a game. Um, lo que es muy importante elegir un monedero de Bitcoin que solo tú mismo, mismo, tienes la llave privada. What is very important uh, to choose um, Bitcoin wallet, a company which you only possess the private key. For example, uh, blockchain.info. Por ejemplo, la empresa blockchain punto info luego imprimir en papel um, la llave privada y también guardarlo tú mismo 
then to print in paper the private key and uh, of course save for, for yourself that private key. Bueno, ya estamos imprimiendo, imprime por lo menos 10. So now we are already printing, so at least print 10 directions, 10 direcciones. Luego pones algo de Bitcoin, una cantidad, lo que, lo que te da la gana en esta dirección. Then you put some Bitcoin, uh, the amount, whatever you want, and that in these directions. Y la próxima vez que sales de casa ya tienes algo que dar a los que están ahí pidiendo por la calle. And the next time you go out of the house, you have already something to give for these people who are begging on the streets. Y por ejemplo, y claro, para tus amigos, amigas, and for your friends, of course. Eso da motivación a la gente para aprender Bitcoin y this gives motivation for the people to learn about Bitcoin. Y la parte del juego consiste en lo siguiente. And the game part uh, consists in the following. Explicas a la gente, mira, esta es la cl clave privada, que es la clave secreta. You explain to the people, look, this is the private key, which must be secret. And uh, you have it and uh, me. And uh, explicas, esa persona y yo mismo la tiene. Y antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié un poco de idea de hasta cuatro años. First, I thought of five years, but then I changed uh, my opinion to four years. Later, explain. Después, lo expli explico por qué. Les dices, mira, tienes cuatro años para poner esta cantidad de Bitcoin a otra dirección. Si no lo, lo has quitado después de cuatro años, yo lo quito. So you explain them, you have four years to take this Bitcoin out of this direction, of this secret uh, key direction. If uh, you don't do it, uh, I do it after these four years. So you lose this. That's the, this part of the game. Es la parte del juego. He creado este hashtag uh, BTC4 para hacerlo un poco popular. I created this hashtag BTC4 to make it a little popular. Antes pensaba en cinco años, pero luego cambié a cuatro porque te has dado cuenta que en los Simpsons la gente tiene cuatro dedos. Y Solo do, Dios tiene cinco dedos. Um, first, I thought of five years, but then I changed my mind to four years. Um, did you notice that in The Simpsons, people have a four fingers and only God has five fingers. Uh, I'll show some pictures. Voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los Simpsons. De los manos y dedos de Simpsons. Some pictures of the hands and fingers of Simpsons. Uh, pero antes quiero recordar que um, es muy probable que en también cuatro o cinco en los próximos años el valor de Bitcoin puede subir mucho. 
just want to remember before that uh, the price of Bitcoin, the value of Bitcoin can rise very much in these next years. Así que si solo pones una cantidad pequeña más tarde, puede ser de gran ayuda. Even if you just put a little small amount later, it can be big help. Uh, no solo para... Bueno, es un juego. <laughs> si la persona lo quita antes de cuatro años, para, es para esta persona. Si no, es para ti. Si te recuerdas y guardas bien la llave privada. So, uh, it's... This is the game part. If uh, the, the person takes the money out, it's for that person. But if they forget it after these four years, you can take it out. And it can be really... <laughs> bueno, imprimir también la llave pública y la llave privada. Y si, por ejemplo... Okay, first translate. Print and not just the private key, but on also the public key. Así que si, por ejemplo, explicas a la gente. Mira, si alguna persona quiere enviarte Bitcoin, pero tú no tienes ninguna dirección, así que puedes dar este, esta llave pública a la persona. Mira, muy bien, la llave pública, no la llave secreta das a esa persona o cualquier persona y te pueden enviar un Bitcoin a esa dirección. So, remember, uh, the public key you can give to anybody and if somebody wants to send you some Bitcoin and, you, and this person doesn't have, have any, so you have already this public address where they can send you Bitcoin. Bueno, ahora voy a enseñar algunas imágenes de los dedos de Simpsons. Now I'll show you some pictures of the fingers of Simpson. The four fingers, los cuatro dedos y cinco dedos de Dios. The four fingers and five fingers of God of Simpsons. Thirteenth of March, two thousand and fifteen, and we have some breaking news. We have broken the one thousand dollar barrier. I tweeted out not like fifty minutes ago that if we broke one thousand dollars for the Pro Tip crowdfund campaign, that I would go live on air again. And you cheeky bastards, you actually funded it whilst I was tweeting it out. That's kind of cheating. You shouldn't do that. I've been up for like 19 hours now. And so look, I'm, I'm really, really grateful to everyone, especially some of the people that went out of their way to fund this campaign, even though we were being blocked by PayPal and Indiegogo in the first few hours of this, this whole thing. Like I started it, I, I was up at 6 a.m. Tom, who's with me right now, was up at like 5 a.m. his time. And we were working really hard on making sure that all the, you know, all the typos were taken out and all the video was looking nice and we were getting it all out. And then at the last minute, just some, you know what it's like, glitches come up. 
things, things didn't work out. But you guys really pulled through for us. Like some people actually went out of their way to find out what my PayPal email address was and were manually sending me donations. And one in particular, really want to give a shout out to you know who you are. I won't use your name because you haven't told me if it's okay. But thank you very much for your thirty-five pound donation. And also to Chris McCready, who has very kindly donated, I think about $150 or maybe like $125 within the last 50 minutes. Um, I was sort of pestering him on Skype, mind you, most of the day to like get involved because he said he was gonna, he yeah, said he was gonna contribute to this. So, Tom, what do you make of it so far? Pretty good buzz, no? I'm very excited. I mean, I believe in this project a lot. I think that open source is the answer for tipping, and I think using real Bitcoin is the right way to go, and we bring those together in this project. I also believe in the automatic aspect. You don't need to individually tip anyone. I don't have time to hand out a, a million tips or a thousand tips. I need a program to do that for me, and that's what this program does. So we need your support. We need you to keep supporting us. I'm very impressed by everyone, all the retweets, all the individual tweets. Hopefully tomorrow we're going to see some more videos, some more artwork. If you're an artist, any kind of artist, and you think, hey, I like that idea, well, first, you know, get a Bitcoin wallet, put your Bitcoin address into your web page, into your blog, and your SoundCloud, your YouTube. You're set up for the app. You're done then. Then the next step, make some content. Make some art about this project and spread it to YouTube, spread it to Twitter, uh, tag at Mad Bitcoins at the end. I'll retweet. I'm gonna. I'm trying to follow back anyone that retweets, anyone that favorites. I mean, we need everyone's help to spread the word about this project because we're having a great day today. But we're just starting out. We need to have 30 great days in a row, right, Chris? Absolutely. We really, really do. And I'd also like to draw your attention to the fact that we do have a promoter package. We will be giving shout outs and promoting artists on the ProTip homepage. And of course, that counts for the World Crypto Network too, of course, because it's all the same thing. Uh, we Look, we're, we're, we're the same as you guys, right? We're, we're artists as well. We're looking for ways to make our art sustainable. And we just feel like this whole um, online media circus is just lots of talentless people taking money away from the people that have the talent and I want middlemen to just I'm sorry they just need to work out whatever dreams they had as children they just need to go and pursue those right because everyone else is just trying to get on with their lives and so this is for you if you feel unrewarded or you know someone who is or and you know someone who works really damn hard and doesn't get the doesn't get the justice doesn't get the market justice that they deserve then this is that this is the campaign for you you need to tell them about it you need to get on board uh, shout us out anyway you know what just 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 uh, put some money in let's put $25 in give us a shout out if you catch me at the right time I'll give you a shout out when when I'm next on air I don't even care anymore right now to be to be quite honest I'm so kind of taken up with it we've had quite a lot of feedback I actually want to go over some of the more critical elements if I may because I, I kind of want to emphasize no, no the fact critical this stuff yet. let's say some more no, pause. no 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 I want no, to no, say no, no, like no, no, Nixie no. Pixel says in the video YouTube says that a thousand people is worth six dollars I think you're worth way more than that I think that we can show it with this application and I don't want to brag or anything but some very awesome people at Juice Rap News have followed me on Twitter recently and I just wanted to highlight what they said to us. I told them about the project and they said, it sounds like a great project. We'll gladly share the link when it's up. And this really means a lot. I've, I've enjoyed their work for years and as you know, they've had some funding troubles recently. So anything we can do to help them, anything we can do to help Nixie Pixel, Jenna Marbles, any of these YouTube people that you like, if they haven't heard about this software, you could be the one to tell them about it. You could put the comment in the video that sparks them to learn just a little bit about Bitcoin and just a little bit about ProTip, which is how we're going to automatically deliver Bitcoin to content creators that we like. You're not going to have to tip manually anymore. You're going to automatically yeah. tip. But yeah. no, go ahead, Chris. I mean, I no, do want to no, talk no, about critical no, no, issues no. as well. But I, the juice wrap thing is phenomenal. Like I love those guys. Every single show that they do is absolutely bang on the money. They do not miss a step. That is so impressive. It's very hard to do, and very rarely does a kind of talent like that come around in culture. So I'm, I'm absolutely ecstatic. I mean, they don't follow me. And it's, it's not just the words, but it's the visuals, yeah. the, the costumes, the green screen. They really, they go all out for their videos and. I mean, I think they should be on, you know, real TV, whatever it is to reward them properly. But with pro tip, with apps like this, with Bitcoin, 
we can reward them on ourselves. We can give them the couple dollars here and there that will make them you know, able to feed themselves, able to have a good life, as well as create the great content that they make. Here they are. No, no donation required from these guys, really. I mean, they just kind of speak for themselves. I really, really love that stuff. Not least because, you know, history is now. That's that's one of the, the famous quotes that, that he always comes up with on, on, on their shows. Like, this is history. You're making history today. And and one of the great things I love about what they do is they help you see the big picture. They, they tell all sides of the story and make you realize that really it's up to you to make up your own mind. Stop sort of stop trying to find a final resting place of thought. Stop trying to find like some, you know, final belief that you can hold and I never have to bother thinking again. You know, if you if you're a really scrupulous thinker, you should be changing your mind all the time. Like every day should be a new learning experience for you. And I just love the fact that they they they, they teach autonomy, that they teach self mastery, that they're really teaching to be people to be confident, independent thinkers. And I think that's absolutely superb. But um and before yeah, you go well, on to the well, critical well, stuff, I want to remind everyone that we are still accepting donations. This is our Bitcoin address. As you can see, we're up to $801. Look at those recent donations, wow. 7373. Oh, wait, That's a great donation. Thank you very much. And 295 also an excellent donation. Oh. We appreciate every single one of you, big and small, for supporting this project. We don't have venture capitalists. We're not big time money people. Uh, we struggle to pay our own bills ourselves as content creators and to have your support on this project really means a lot. So if you want to pause the video, you can scan that QR code right there. Uh, remember with the Bitcoin donations, it goes directly to the project. There's no fees for PayPal. There's no fees for Indiegogo. Uh, it's funny. I, I link the PayPal account to my account, so I keep getting a little notice every time Indiegogo takes their fees. They, they take a dollar from the $10. They take 30 cents from this. And uh, it's funny, but remember with Bitcoin, we're not, we're not paying any fees except for the miners. And that we're also on Indiegogo. Uh, it looks like the video is not loading in this view, but uh, we've raised $335 on Indiegogo, and I appreciate every one of you as well. And uh, just please keep donating. Please keep spreading the link, retweeting, making art, uh, making your own videos. We have this idea for update videos like this where you can say how much we need to raise, how much we have raised, and how much time we have left. You don't need anyone's permission to make that video. I'm giving you permission now, and you already had permission the whole time. It's a Wizard, and Oz, Wizard of Oz trick. Right? But there you go, Chris. I won't interrupt you anymore, but I want to get the positive stuff, and I want to get the donation address out there in the beginning of this video because people are, are busy. They don't have a lot of time, and I want them to be able to donate if they want to. You're a good friend, Tom. And the thing is, the thing about you, Tom, is that you saved the day this afternoon because we I was on the phone to PayPal for like two hours and I was trying to get in touch with Indiegogo and then you were like, oh, hey, do you want to use my PayPal account? I was like, oh, yeah, good idea. You're one of the managers on the campaign. And you know what, guys? He isn't even getting paid for this. He hasn't asked for any money. We haven't talked about any money. He's just gone and done it. And that's, you know, that's the kind of friendship you need, really, in this world. I also want to say another friend who's really helped us out, um, and I haven't spoken about him much, but uh, David Bailey at Hard BTC. He's a really, really good guy. And do you know what he's gone and done? He's only gone and, like, donated these really rare, cassatious bitcoins, these physical bitcoins. You can't get them anymore, at least not brand new anyway, because the guy that makes them, I think his name is Mike Caldwell. Correct me if I'm wrong, anyone. Um... He's no longer allowed to make them. The, the U.S. Fed or whatever, the government in the U.S. Uh, said that he was a money transmitter for making these because they had Bitcoin addresses on the back. Look how shiny that is. Wait for the focus. Going to focus. Are you going to focus? Hey, maybe not. Yeah, but there you go. It's got, it's got a Bitcoin address on it and that they are legit. Uh, hopefully we'll get the chance to get them actually valued. Uh, I believe David is currently getting uh, certificates done for, for, the, for his other coins. If we get the chance, we will. And we're going to be offering these exclusively on Start Join, hopefully on Monday. It's just been a bit hectic because I did want to do something exclusively for the Bitcoiners. Now, some of you have been asking me, what if you want access to the perks, but you want to be able to donate in Bitcoin? Um, that's okay. Um, can you tweet me out? I'll, I will follow you back. And what I'll do is I'll just get you to put in like like some extra characters, like one, two, three, four in the actual Bitcoin amount. And so I know it's you. I mean, 
to be honest, I'll probably just take your word for it. Like if you just DM me or you just email me, that's not a problem. I'm if you yeah, if you want to donate in Bitcoin, that's absolutely fine. Hopefully, start join will kind of sort that out. We're still trying to work out what we want to run the thresholds at because we've tried to make this campaign super flexible. So if you don't if you don't think that we're the right people to do that, that's okay. We'll just open source the software. We we're, we're really asking for ten thousand dollars so that Leo and I can pretty much break even on the last three months worth of work. And actually, in actual fact, that doesn't even really break even because it doesn't really pay. UK living costs, but it broadly speaking pays us enough that we're that we're happy and obviously we'll be committers of the project anyway because it's our baby. But if you do think we're right, and it clearly looks like you do because the, the donations are coming in thick and fast, then we want to take this as far as you want to take it. Right. So if you only want to take us as far as 25k, that's okay. Then we'll support it until you know three, four months down the line we turn around and we say, Do you think this is working? Is this working for you? So look, I really do appreciate everything. Um, it's really, really kind of David. He's actually offered these free of charge. This is his pledge. And I, last I checked, so these things were going for about $500 a piece, uh, if not more. The, these are the um, 0 0.1 coins, so they're not like the whole the whole Bitcoin ones, but they're still very rare. You, you certainly can't get them anymore. It's very, very kind of him. So let's take a look at some of the... I was hoping that we would get some good sort of critical feedback uh, especially on the technical stuff. And this was a conversation that was started by, uh, I would say, a colleague of ours, Blue Mini. He's been on, on the show before and he's been very critical when we were talking about all the things going on. We changed it back, I think, in December, if I remember rightly. And he's saying, look, uh, this is no advancement over change tip in terms of privacy. In fact, it's potentially worse. The reason is is that if you're in, if we are as pro tip, we're encouraging people to put Bitcoin addresses on their public identifiable, you know, social media accounts. Then essentially, that all their funds are going to be tainted with that. Now, that's strictly speaking. I'm, I'm I'm kind of seeing where he's coming from. Obviously, it's true. If you put your Bitcoin address with your legal identity on the internet, then obviously anything that comes into you will be tainted with that address. Even if you were to mix the coins afterwards, people could still see what you had donated. Where it's slightly different to Change Tip, though, is that with Change Tip, when you make a donation through social media both sender and receiver are publicly known. With ProTip, what we're proposing, and it's not a live project yet, we haven't actually gone, we haven't actually released it yet, remember. Um, it's only the receiver that actually is 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 public in under the current system. And at the, and when we were thinking about this as we were developing it over the over the last few months, we sort of thought, well, that generally maps reality, right? At the moment, businesses are not allowed to be private. They have to report their earnings uh, to, to some regulator. Not that I agree with that, but that is the current state. If I'm busking on the street, you can see the amount of money I've made. You can't see what I do with it when I leave, but you can with Bitcoin, of course. But you can, broadly speaking, see the money that I've made. If you're present when people are donating, you can also see people's faces when they donate. So it, it, it kind of maps reality in my head. However, I don't disagree. I don't have a strong objection to this claim. It's not, uh, it's not untrue that with the blockchain, with the public ledger, um, the, the, that everything is disclosed, that everybody has everything. However, it's not that simple because, first of all, privacy isn't the only issue we're tackling. Uh, we're also tackling remuneration and reward on the internet. We're trying to create digital scarcity for, 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 for the internet. And it's true that at the moment, that the way we link scarcity across space and time, value transfer across space and time, is embedded and inherently enmeshed with the thorny issue of identity, how you store your um, your legal identity and your face and your likeness with certain databases. The fact that is that with Bitcoin, in order for it to to have its core property of digital scarcity, that one that very unique feature that it that, that we didn't have on the internet before, unfortunately, it does require that that you have a shared distributed database where everyone has everything. Now, where I am okay with this at the moment in my current state of thinking is that. I don't want to thwart this project just because some people value privacy and anonymity. I understand people who do, but there are also people that I don't think will mind 
if their public donations are known by everyone, if their donations are public. I don't mind, for example. I understand that people do have an issue with it. And that's one of the reasons why when we were deciding on what job titles to give one another, we kind of agreed that, that I should I shouldn't really be in communications, I'm more of an education role, so I'm the chief education officer because most of my work here is probably going to be about educating people about what kind of wallets to do, uh, what kind of wallets to use, helping people understand that we don't intend this to be your main wallet, this is supposed to be a hot wallet, it's like carrying cash around you, with you every day. So I'm, I'm really glad that this issue has come up, I'm very privileged that pe you know, people of that calibre, especially Peter Todd was kind of wading in on, on on the debate and obviously all of this is going to get fed back into the general discussion that we have it's not a live project yet this we very much feel like this is something that we're putting out there there is also of course the guys at dark wallet that have been working on the stealth addresses that was something that we brought up let me just bring up the bitcoin sx one of the criticisms of course of the bitcoin sx and the dark wallet projects is that they haven't actually delivered a fully functioning uh, user delivery product yet as in it's not there's no kind of you know really nice UI it doesn't actually fully function yet but what this kind of technology kind of promises is the ability for you to be able to have an address that you can publicly advertise such that when everyone when anyone ever makes a transaction to it it simply generates a new Bitcoin address and thus thwarting any ability to tether all of the transactions to to one person so yes the tools are currently in a state of development but at the moment, I'm 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 mostly focused on just trying to help people be rewarded for their work, and privacy is very important too. But I look forward to an ongoing discussion about that. And again, as a content creator, I'd rather have money that's tracked than no money. And all of my Mad Bitcoins Bitcoin addresses in the past are public and will continue to be public. I don't know how else they expect us to share them. So it's really a non-issue for me as a content creator. I'd, I'd much rather have enough money to live on. And of course, I do intend to pay taxes, and I will, and I, I do every year. And I hope that other content creators will follow the same example and properly reward their government. I mean, it's not, there's libertarian issues, certainly, if you want to go that way. But uh, for me, it's, it's not an issue. So. Chris is thinking deep in thought. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm just reading. Uh, apparently, some people can't get into the Q&A. Let me just reply to this one real quick. Oh, also, I want to give a shout out. Um, I think I already did it earlier to Frank, but I'm just going to keep on doing it because this guy is kind of awesome. So, at Light Rider on Twitter, came up with this idea. The Muse, she visited him some number of years ago. And uh, I think, oh, I see. He just <laughs> he posted up a, like an issue on his own um on his own repo on GitHub. So yes, this was the, the sort of the brainchild of uh, at Light Rider on Twitter, and this was uh, three years ago now. And so look, you know, sometimes with ideas like this, it's just a case of being the right people at the right time. And the question is, I think for, for what, what Blue Meanie was saying on Twitter, the, the, the guy that was crit the critiquing on the privacy issue, I think for him, this is a timing issue. Because I did ask him, like, okay, so what's your idea? Like, how do we make this private? Given that we have an economic need to be rewarding one another at distance, given that, given that distance itself is very deceitful, given that we have all these affinities and these relationships with people, with one another, even in spite of all these, you know, all this territory between us, um, how should we conduct ourselves? And so I, I look forward to hearing, you know, a good sort of verbose feedback from him. I, I haven't, I don't feel like I've had that, that yet. But maybe he can come on air and actually tell us what he thinks the solution is. But like I say, I think this idea is is ready. It's ready for the mainstream. And just to go back over the donations again, we've had a do another donation of 29 cents. So we are continuing to raise funds. And you can raise funds right now through this QR code. It's just that easy. And we're also monitoring the donations on Indiegogo, where we're at $335. So thank you very much for the, uh, the 11 funders who have funded us on Indiegogo and the almost... There it is again, 23, that magical number that keeps popping up everywhere. It's even in the background of my video, and I, I don't even know who wrote it on that board. It's, it's been there. <laughs> that is genius. Oh, cool. I'm so glad that people are, like, helping this project out.
I was so stressed out when the PayPal thing didn't work. I was like, oh no, that can't be, it can't be. It takes a lot of work to put a project like this together. I've been helping Chris out with the text for the, the website for the Indiegogo. There's a lot of text there. There's a lot of text into the goals, and then there's the video that, of course, Chris and Ollie made. It's a great video, and, and thank you to Nixie and everyone else who was a part of that video and allowed their likeness to be used and their voice and everything to be a part of that because it's a great video, and we hope that you'll continue to spread the video and spread the link to the donations, spread the link to the Indiegogo. We are just starting this out now. I know we're on a really good pace now, but we have to keep up this pace. We have to accelerate this pace. Uh, employing two people full-time to work on this for a year is an, a large amount of money, and we know that, uh, but it's a small amount of money compared to what the venture capitalists have thrown at these projects, and I think that open source, real Bitcoin, is the way to go with this. It's just going to work better. Well, we did actually get a favorite from uh, my, one of my heroes, actually, InfoSec Taylor Swift earlier. But I'm not, I'm not sure what she really, let me pull this up, okay? So we were... Even, even real Taylor Swift is a very uh, confusing and enigmatic, enigmatic figure. She's a very... If, if you're watching this, Taylor, I really, I really appreciate you paying even attention to my Twitter stream. That's really, I feel really honored. Um, but I, I don't know what she's saying here. She's saying like, yo, dog, we heard that you like free open source software totally independent from power structures and under your control. So we put it on GitHub. <laughs> if GitHub closes, does the internet die? And I just, I just, I don't know. Like, do you think she's on our side or do you think she's trolling us big time? I think there's a little bit of sarcasm in everything and there's a little bit of joking in every one of her tweets and I think that's what makes him so good. You, you can't tell, is she, even, is she even against cyber war? Sometimes you look at her face in those photos where she's like pondering cyber war, wondering if the machines are right. And you're like, maybe the machines will spare Taylor because she's such an exemplary human being. I was listening to her album the other day actually and she talked about how she writes her songs and she seemed really interested in uh, explaining to her audience uh, basically where her genius comes from. And she's got an incredible turn of phrase on several songs on the new album. Uh, I'm not usually a Taylor Swift fan, but yeah, I'm, I'm starting to become one. They're very, very catchy songs. And of course, I love InfoSec Taylor Swift, just like Chris. Well, they, of course, they are the same person because we know that uh, Taylor Swift does have a myriad of social media accounts. So my latest theory is, and there is some circumstantial evidence to back this up, that this could well be the Taylor Swift just kind of playing us a little bit. So I'm keeping an open mind about it. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I haven't fully decided. And, and remember her classic line that, why are there no naked pictures of Taylor Swift on the internet? Because her computers don't get hacked because exactly. she's InfoSec Taylor Swift. She's a talented computer scientist. Yeah. Okay, so apparently the Q&As aren't working. So, that, that's uh, just as well. We, we probably need to make this a short hangout, but we are going to try to do hangouts like this every day. Maybe not myself. I'm working full time, uh, very busy, commuting a lot. Um, but hopefully Chris will do one, hopefully other people on the World Crypto Network, maybe you at home will do one, like I said, just put the numbers out there, say how much we've made, say how much we need to make, say how much time there's left, and say why you think this is a good project. I think it's a good project because I want to reward content creators, I enjoy shows like Juice Rap News, Thug Notes, I enjoy tweets like InfoSec Taylor Swift, and if she put a Bitcoin address into her Twitter profile, she would get paid every time I read her Twitter address. Uh, and that's something very easy. It's copy and paste. There's no installation. It's practically zero installation. And again, this is real Bitcoin that we're tipping with. It is possible. They've told you it's not, but it's possible. You can tip with Bitcoin for real, not just say you're tipping with it. And you know, and you know what it was? It was just Leo and me sat around like having coffees just brainstorming. It was just, it was literally, it was just, because we, we had a whole bunch of ideas that we'd written down. Over, over the three years that we've known each other, we've come up with lots of ideas between us. We'd always talked about, you know, going into business together or, or doing something together and doing some projects. And, and we were brainstorming ideas. And 
I, you know, this idea came to me in May, then, then obviously Frank sort of said, oh, look, you know, this came to me a couple of years ago, and I was like, okay, and other people seem to like it, and when I'd mentioned it before, you know, I often look, I've got quite a good sort of eye for people's facial expressions when I share ideas, and I noticed this one kept getting, kept getting good sort of raised eyebrows, so we sort of pushed it, and then when we were sort of brainstorming over Christmas, we were like, Okay, so how could we do this? How could we like get around like the transaction fees and we bounce some ideas around? Or we'll just batch them up, like maybe daily. What about weekly? Oh yeah, weekly. Okay, and like how many would it be? And and you just keep going around like this, and eventually all the problems stop being problems and they start looking like solutions. And you start to think, wow, okay. Now I know there are problems up ahead. We've got things we've got to deal with, like the privacy, like the the fact that things are going to mobile and stuff like that. But I can see a trajectory now. I can see a world where this exists with or without my participation. The question is, what do I bring to it? How can I tell a story about this? How does this fit into my life? What does this mean to me? Well, you know, I'm a YouTuber. I'm looking for ways to be funded as well. Like, it, you know, and so the whole thing just kind of seemed to work. And and so. I went to Copenhagen, spent a month with Leslie, and Leo was sort of working on the programming. We were hanging out on Skype every day and, and just talking about things, and, and things just seemed to really come together. And I do actually have some recordings of conversations in some of those meetings as well that every, everyone was aware of when I was doing them. But maybe, maybe if I get, if, if people donate the right amount, maybe maybe we'll put them together in like a making of documentary or something like that on an over egg it. And this is an idea that magazines and others have talked about for a long time. When the internet first came out, this is kind of what they thought it would be like. You'd put your articles out there, you put a little code in them, and you get rewarded for writing articles. And we're talking about everyone from bloggers to someone at Time Magazine. You can put a Bitcoin code in the bottom of your Time Magazine article, and you can get paid for informing me about the news, which, as we all know, is a big problem for newspapers. They are not making any money in this digital world. They've tried paywalls. They've tried banner ads. I think we all know they don't work. They don't pay enough, and no one clicks on them. Uh, this is different. People don't have to click. You don't have to look at an ad. You don't have to be distracted. You read the content that you enjoy, and that content is automatically rewarded with this app. All you have to do is set your daily allowance, put 10 bucks in your wallet every once in a while, and there you go. That's it. And I think it's easier. And again, we're going to open source this. The entire community can help. There's a lot of other programmers out there who can come to this project once we reach our goal and we open source it. And it's going to be fantastic. I think we're all going to work together. Programmers, content creators, video makers, article writers, editors, everyone can contribute to this project. And we just need you to keep spreading the word and keep donating. Not much, but just keep donating. Also, just uh, just in terms of wrapping up, I also wanted to give a quick shout out. I think his name is Chris Priest. Uh, now, uh, Chris released Auto Tip on a, I think it was like the 15th of January at a, a hackathon in the, uh, at the Miami Bitcoin conference, and it's just very unfortunate timing because. Obviously, this I, we've had overlapping ideas. Now, what, what Leo and I, we haven't addressed Chris personally yet because we were working so hard in the background. It kind of took us by surprise when Chris kind of launched this a few a few weeks ago. It's a very similar product. It's an auto-tipping service. So the way Leo and I have decided to respond to this is by including Chris's meta tags in our software too so that artists are not forced to choose between the products. Our product will support the same code that you have to put in. Now, the difference between ours and Chris's is that, that Chris's relies on you putting the meta tags in the HTML header, which is a fairly complex thing to do for a lot of people, which is one of the, yeah, so here, here you go. Um, which is a fairly complex thing to do. Now, I, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but the day before he went off and made this, I actually emailed um, Peter Todd, who was also at the Miami Bitcoin conference, asking him what he thought of this idea, and he came back saying, oh, put, put it in the HTML header because it will be more secure. But obviously, I'm trying to make this for, for everyone. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if, if ideas were shared or whatever. I don't really feel like I own ideas. I don't really care. Um, but yeah, look, I want this project to play well with others. Um, I support Chris and his 
his project. Um, if he, if I, it looks like he's taking it in the right direction, it looks as, looks as though he is because he wants this to be part of the HTML5 standard, and I agree with that, then I will be happy to support any project that, that helps people raise money on the internet for, for their work. It's not mutually exclusive. So I just wanted to add that as well because somebody also brought that up on, on the Twitter. So keep those comments coming in. That, that's been much appreciated. And we've got just one more check of the donations. We've had another large donation for $73.73, as well as a couple more donations for $0.29. Cents. And I just want to say that I appreciate everyone's donations, big and small. We're up to 25. All you have to do is scan this QR code right now with your Bitcoin wallet or come back to this page later. It's going to be in the description. It's all over the Mad Bitcoins Twitter. We're obviously doing everything we can to spread the link to this address. And uh, we're also going to check the pro tip. We've had $335 on Indiegogo with more than 11 funders. So that's a, oh, we're up to $420 with 13 funders. I just refreshed the page. So that's around, uh, let's see, do some quick math, 25 plus 38. That's around 38 people that have supported us so far. So thank you very much, the 38 of you, and, and maybe some of you are tipping twice, and that's cool too. And uh, we just need everyone's support on this. This is one of the first times I think this has been done where an open source project that could help so many people has been built by crowdfunding, by you donating. Uh, so it's your belief that's going to make this project a reality. It's There's no one else um, but you, but us. We are the ones we've been waiting for, as, as Gandhi said. And uh, I think we're running towards the end here. Chris, do you have anything in closing? No, that, that's perfect, Tom. I really appreciate that. And um, I think I, I want to be here every day. I'm going to be here every day for the next 30 days. I, I really am enjoying it. I'm tired as hell, but I really enjoy it. So and you keep me going. So please send me your ideas. If you want us to talk about anything when we go on air next time, uh, please tell me and maybe we can do some extra goals and put some extra kind of milestones in there if you want to, uh, you know, incentivize getting 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 us towards that, that ultimate goal of 50,000. That's much appreciated. Very well said, Chris. And good night, everybody. Good bye night. Bye. Take it easy. Apparently and historically. Opposed to secret society, secret oaths, and a secret proceedings. We decided long ago the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment. A pertinent fact far outweighs the dangers which are cited to justify it. Face the facts, join our hands, make a stand. Uh -huh. It's time to gather plans, get the shot, take the chance. Till there is no one left, stay correct to the death. They can't ever break a freedom, we will never let it. The corrupt politics is killing the system. Cynicism is it, and it's everything that you witness. They tell you what to think, make you believe that they're the realness. They feed us full of lies, and yet we always forgive them. Huh? It's all conspiracy, and if you feed an inner witch, you're the puppet. The government's pulling strings from above you. It's time for the introduction to truth. Let's start a movement. We've all been brainwashed. They believe that we all are stupid. We believe in what we see and whatever our ears are hearing. But if you look close, listen, gather your own opinion. You'll understand all the lies, lines, and what's between them. This world is not your oyster. This world is a fucking prison. Come on. happening in our nation. We won't stand up for the fear of assassination. So they strip us of everything. We stand there and just take it. We're scared to make a stand a false flag operation. Research Illuminati. Find out by 9-11. You see they line their pockets. Don't believe the lies they tell you. Find to seek the truth. Realize we need to do whatever it is we can to protect our livelihood. It's time for us to do when the conspiracy or not. They owe some explanations to the questions that we got. What are the skull and bones? What is flying beneath? All these secretive means got you lying between your teeth. What's with the Bilderberg? I'm burning your effigies. I'm praying a Lucifer. How Satanist can you be? While all of the time praying you believing in the beast just to keep up appearances within Christianity. Come on. Strong and they try
try to shut us down or turn around, let us storm them. We got the warnings, let us march from the morning through the night. We gon' fight and close the eye and overthrow all these damn secret societies. Why we gotta stand for 